Hello, VIP Kid Teachers. It's time for some straight talk. Many of you have noticed that in your VIP Kid Teacher app that there's a section up in the upper left-hand corner called Followers and that you have a number of followers and many of you have freaked the flip out about this. Not cool. Why are teachers flipping out about the followers on the app? When we work remotely for a company and we have very little communication with them, we constantly second guess how we're doing. We want someone to say, you're doing really great. And so we look around for that feedback everywhere. We say, can we have some parent feedback? Will someone please validate me? I think I'm a good teacher. No one has told me I'm a good teacher in a while. So maybe I'm not. I probably suck. And then someone followed me on the teacher app. I'm a good teacher. I knew I was a good teacher. I bet I've got more followers than some of these other teachers. Let me tell you a secret. It means nothing. Giving any weight at all to the number of followers you have on your app is like determining who is a good cook by whose turkey has the most likes on Facebook. So you're probably thinking, it has to mean something. Those followers get there somehow. Think of it like this. You're shopping on Amazon, and you see something that might be a good Christmas present for your son, and you put it in your cart. And you see another thing that you think, that might be a good present for my cousin, and you put it in the cart. Then you go to check out. What do you do? Delete, delete delete, 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 and you end up selecting the ones that you think are best. That's the way you should view following. Parents select teachers based on their initial impression for a possible booking later. So imagine this. A person in China who has never met you, never heard you speak, never seen you in person, and has no idea of your English skills sees a very small thumbnail picture of you and decides in a split moment whether or not to put you in their cart. We can only make guesses about how that initial choice is made. But based on the information that they're given, they probably choose off of the only thing they can understand. Your profile picture. Your bio is translated from English into Chinese. Likely it's not exactly what you said. They see a picture. You look attractive. You don't look attractive. It's like Tinder. Swipe, swipe, swipe. But you're smarter than to think that your value as a romantic partner has anything to do with your likeliness to get a Tinder swipe. You know that initial impressions have nothing to do with the legitimacy that you can bring to a relationship. You know you're trustworthy. You know you're loyal. You know you're funny. And you know that those things cannot be seen in a picture. You understand that those qualities that make you such a special person may not even be recognized on a first or second or even third date. Now let's apply that to teaching. No one can tell from your profile picture whether you're a compassionate person. No one can tell whether you're patient and you leave a pause long enough for a shy student to speak. No one can tell that you have a way of knowing your students and bringing exactly what they need to the classroom. No one can know based on your profile picture and a short biography that you're going to connect with their son or daughter in a way that maybe no other teacher can. They may not even know this after a few classes. It may take a while. 
It may take several classes with several students. Here's the great thing about it. The right students will eventually book you and they will love you and they will ask their parents to book you again and you will teach them English. You will develop a relationship with this kid across the ocean in China and your mind will be blown. You'll start to understand that you really only needed those few students who book you. Those are the ones that matter to you. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. What matters is that you're a conscientious teacher, that you're dedicated. When you show up to the camera, you bring everything and you connect with those few students who have chosen you and who connect with you across the ocean. I had to stop the camera for a while because I got kind of emotional thinking about these students. Those kids are my validation. Those kids, Nina, who draws a picture of me in this fantastic way that does not resemble me, and it's beautiful. Or Angel, who gives me a sticker every time I give her a star. Or those students that timidly whisper, and you know that you're the only teacher that can get them to whisper or say anything. Those kids are your feedback. Those kids are your validation. You don't need it to come from VIP Kid. You don't need it to come from the parents. And you don't need it to come from the followers. The way that you know that you're doing a good job in this company and in this profession is that Nina has booked you again. Coco is there again. And they're happy to see you. Give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing a great job.